Congratulations on your decision to use flexible shafts and drain cleaning chains for your sewer cleaning and pipe relining. In recent times, these tools have grown in popularity exponentially and soon, with a bit of practice, you're also going to discover the advantages to using them. The first thing you need to do when you receive your package is to lubricate your shaft. We don't put lubricant in from the workshop because if we did, that lubricant could leak out onto the cardboard and make the tape that holds the package together not so sticky anymore and in that way we could lose the shaft in the delivery process. You'll need to lubricate your shaft once when you receive it and then after that check it every few weeks just to make sure that it's still well lubricated. Lubrication ensures the longevity of your shaft and at the same time affects the performance quite significantly. You see, a shaft will spin inside of a sleeve at up to 3000 revs per minute and this will build up heat through friction, especially if that coil is coiled into a smaller diameter. This is why we always suggest that you open up your shaft as much as you can when using it. The sleeve has special additives in it that protect the sleeve from being damaged as a result of high temperatures and the chemicals that you would find in a sewer system. Yet, lubrication helps reduce the amount of heat that builds up between the shaft and the sleeve. However, the biggest advantage to lubricating your shaft is the effect that it has on the torque demand from your drill. The less friction you have from your sleeve, the more torque that is available for your chains to rotate. You can use any kind of lubricant that won't degrade in high temperatures and will not affect plastic negatively. These lubricants include machine oil, compressor oil, grease, graphite grease, and even paraffin oil. Lubricating a shaft is quick and easy. You can either put your sleeve bearing in a vise or get somebody to hold it for you and remove about 50 centimeters or 20 inches to show a hollow space. And pour your lubricant inside that hollow space and wait a couple of seconds for the lubricant to run down the shaft. After that, you switch your drill back on, slowly but surely working the lubricant from one side of the shaft to the other. A little tip is not to push it back very quickly because otherwise it will mess that lubricant all over the show. I usually make sure that I also lubricate my set screws because in the past I've had one rust on me and I stripped my head trying to remove it. That's just a little tip I've come along the way. Lubricating set screws some people say you shouldn't, but personally, I do. So I hope this video was helpful. I'm sure you're going to be impressed with our workmanship and the benefits of these tools going forward. If you have any questions or any suggestions for a, an, another video, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. Thanks for watching. Ciao. And a fly comes and just sits on my face. How much effort they're going to save you. Ah. Wait for the aeroplane to go past. All right, get there already, damn it. The less friction you have, the less friction you have in your sleeve, from your sleeve, the less friction you have, less friction you have from your sleeve, by touching lubricating a shaft. However, the biggest advantage, <sighs> yep. <sighs>